Hi, I'm Dean Obidal. I'm an American Muslim and a comedian. You may have seen me on Comedy Central's Acts of Evil special, on ABC's The View, or on Al Jazeera. Dun 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 dun. Scary to some, I don't know why. This Thursday, I'm heading down to Washington, D.C. to live tweet from Congressman Peter King's hearings entitled The Extent of Radicalization in the American Muslim Community and That Community's Response. Pretty catchy title, huh? Now, if you don't recognize the name Peter King, here's a photo of him. In the last few days, he's been on more television than Charlie Sheen. In fact, I refer to Peter King as the Charlie Sheen of the U.S. Congress. And he makes just about as much sense. Now let's take a look at some of the pearls of wisdom Peter King has given us over the last few years. He's repeatedly claimed that 85% of the mosques in America have extreme leadership. Does he base that on any facts at all? No. Zero. None. Peter King has also astoundingly made the statement that there are too many mosques in America. I think that really sums up his position right there. And we cannot forget Peter King's continual statement that the American Muslim community refuses to cooperate with law enforcement. So. Is he going to call any law enforcement officials to support that claim? Nope. None. Not one. Amazing. All of a sudden, Charlie Sheen's looking a little bit more reasonable, isn't he? Now, just to be clear, we are not saying there are no threats to America posed by radicals. And it's true, some have been Muslim, and we despise them. But the threats to America come from people of all different backgrounds. Just think of the recent horrific shooting in Tucson by Jared Loeffner. The big question for many people is, will the Peter King hearings make America safer? Well, U.S. law enforcement officials have stated clearly, the best way to combat violent extremism is by building relationships with the community. The worst way, alienation. We are all in this together as Americans. You know, it's a country where you can be proud of your heritage and proud of being American. It's one of the things that makes this nation so exceptional. So let's stand together against those who want to divide us with hate. And let's focus instead on what unites us as Americans. So I hope you'll join me this Thursday as our live tweet from the hearings in Washington, D.C. And visit our website, whatunitesus.us. I'll see you Thursday at the hearing. That is, of course, assuming Peter King lets me in after making this. You gonna let me in, Peter? Peter?